Hi, I'm Wendy. I'm Lori. And we are small business owners in Northwest Ohio. We thought we'd start a podcast. We sure did. Welcome to Hot Topics, Cool Friends. Hello, Wendy. Hi. <laughs> so we have two Wendy's here today. Yes, we do. I love this Wendy. Wendy with I an eye. Yeah. Wendy with an eye, yes. We have Wendy oh, yeah. Hendricks from Starbound and all sorts of wonderful things. But she's been in business how, how many years now? 26. That's a long time. Yeah. It is. Mm-hmm. A lot of fun. I don't, I, I happen to choose friends that have their hands in a lot of things. <laughs> and sometimes they drag me along with them. Yeah, I have yes. to say. Yes. <laughs> well, you're did... fun to drag along. Mm-hmm. Oh, thanks. You're yes. Welcome. So tell us a little bit, how did you, how did you start Starbound? So I ran a modeling and acting agency slash workshops when I was just out of high school. And it was called Omega Modeling and Training Center. And Margaret O'Brien's was our competitor. Mm -hmm. So I had run into her a lot. Through the years, then I had children and I was also working. She contacted me and said, I'm either selling my business to you or I'm closing it. Wow. And I was very intrigued. And I said, why? Why me? I was your competitor. And she said she loved the way I ran my business. Mm -hmm. And when people would tell her what I said, she was like, oh, she's legit and talks real. Mm -hmm. So I bought it 26 years ago. And I'm starbound, and I bought Margaret O'Brien's. And then um, we were starbound, Margaret O'Brien's and starbound, and then we just dropped the Margaret O'Brien's over the years. Mm -hmm. It's a mouthful. Mm -hmm. But um, she was an incredible lady and taught me a lot. And I love that I went down that path you know, I instead of just too. starting my own. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have known Wendy. No. How did you two meet? I was a makeup artist and... Rick Lucky, uh, oh, A photographer mm-hmm. sent you me. You must have yeah. worked with him at some point because he was our photographer back then. Yes. And he recommended you. And so I went over <laughs> to the studio where they were doing a shoot and I was in the room. Doing, you know, put makeup on the models. A small room, mind it was you, very with, small. with a lot of lights, so mm-hmm. it was pretty hot. And we were shooting, I think at that time, Lori, I believe we had probably 25 people that you were doing makeup. And it wasn't applying just once, so we have three looks. Oh, wow. So each person, which were, they were models and they were actors, and we had some singers, and had to get three looks. Mm-hmm. So they would go to the shoot come back in for a change to Lori and then go back out. And she had three chairs, I believe, of people stacked. Did you have help, Lori? Mm-mm. No. Oh, wow. And she had to That's fix their hair. Yeah, now, because, <laughs> wait, i got to interject here. All right, so I, I go to do makeup, and all of a sudden, <laughs> Wendy's throwing me curling irons and saying, do you do hair? And I'm like, well, no, but I, I can. <laughs> so I'm all of a sudden doing styling their hair. So if they had the beach look was usually a first look, right. we'd put it up and then we'd do it down and then we'd do an evening look and it was a lot of fun. But I was like, oh my gosh. Is and I'm real? going in there and saying, okay, Lori, you need to just go a little bit faster, a little bit faster. But she's talking, you know. And <laughs> No, and- she's not. <laughs> no, <laughs> And I, I mean, she was doing a, she was doing yes. a fantastic job. Yes. I was really pleased uh-huh. with it. I just wanted it to be a little bit faster because mm-hmm. we were stacking up. And so anyway, I went, halfway through the day, I go in there and I see Lori taking her hand and wiping her armpit <laughs> and then <laughs> smelling it. Because she's worried she's like. I, and oh, she I said, just... I am sweating. Yeah. And she's like doing this. Oh, you guys can't see me, but I'm smelling my <laughs> fingers after I touch my armpit. And I never laughed so hard. And she said, well, it doesn't smell at least. She still does that. <laughs> still does no. that. No. And I just thought, okay, this is my friend for life. Like, who does that in front of all these models? She was just very authentic. Yeah. And I love that. And she did start speeding up. And it was, we, you did my makeup for years and years after that. Mm-hmm. Then That's you got awesome. busy with your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And doing then multiple I things. also came to work for you as uh Oh, she was a singing coach mm-hmm. and performing coach. that, having them learn to perform. 
Yeah, well, that was fun too. You've had a lot of a uh, lot of cool, famous students come out of your. Yeah, I mean, you well, obviously also, know what you're doing. Um, so another connection is that her daughter, mm-hmm. Lori's daughter, Isabella. She goes by Bella. Ella Cole. Ella Cole. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Um, so she also was a singer and. You know, we ended up taking her to L.A. and she won first place for singing and songwriting. And she did an amazing job and had so much fun. I'm sorry. You, no, said, you asked me well, something. Well, that's Maybe perfect. touch on who, uh, who else. Oh, the stars. That's yeah. what you said. Mm-hmm. So what we do is we um, get people ready to present them to agents. Mm-hmm. So that means you're a mother agent at that point because you're passing someone off. So you're kind of like their mother. Mm-hmm. Um, what a mother does, it gets you ready, prepares mm-hmm. you. Um, tells you what's going to happen and then, you know, presents you to these managers and agents, uh, record labels, mm-hmm. you name it, modeling agencies. And it's a really fun process because, you you know, someone comes to you and they want to be in the industry and they live in Toledo, Ohio or, you know, Bowling Green, and they really want to be in the industry. So we have to find this avenue, which is what we do. And um, it's just so much fun to watch them grow mm-hmm. into that. And there's so many different paths that these people take. Some people, you know, go with us to L.A. or New York, and they get back, and they're like, I'm moving there. I'm gone. Mm -hmm. And they're gone with their parents. Like, sometimes parents are just, yep, we're doing this. And they just jump in, all in, and move. And then we have people who say, yeah, I'm just going to hang out here in Toledo, but I really want to do it. So I'm just going to go during pilot season. Mm -hmm. And pilot is their busy season. And um, they do that. So that's that happens twice a year for like three months at a time. Okay. And so we have people do that. And then when they're back home, they'll do direct bookings because their agent will still send them up. Then we have people who, yeah, I don't want to live there. I want to stay here. And it, sometimes that takes a little bit longer because they're not, you know, faces in front of everybody. Mm-hmm. But it's still workable. And that's, you know, they do direct bookings. So there's a lot of different ways people can do it. And it's just fun watching and helping. and The whole growth it process. is fun, yeah. I like it. You must. You've been doing it a long time. I know, and she's and very I direct with her. People. I'm sure. I'm sure. And that's I like that. Well, they don't have time. You don't have time to It's so right? funny. You know so were you, I, I got better at it. I was gonna ask on. you that. Like were you always no. that direct with your students? So I will tell you a story. When I first started, let's say Joe came to me and he's sitting across from me and he wants to be a model. And I'm not seeing it. Like, maybe his nose is, like, over here and his eyes are crooked, right? Yeah, yeah. And, but I don't tell him that. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know, you don't want to tell someone that. So you just, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, you're great. You're amazing, you know. And mm-hmm. But maybe just do it locally because I know I can't present nationally and I'm not going to jeopardize my, you know, right. reputation. But I, I didn't, I wasn't honest. Mm-hmm. I would, in the beginning, I would be careful of feelings. Mm-hmm. Well, then maybe Joe comes back to me three years later. At this point is when I remember when I remember fully that I'm never going to say anything but exactly the truth. Mm-hmm. Because I said the truth to Joe. And he said, wait, you told me I really had a good look and that, you know, I could do this. And I knew I had crooked eyes or whatever. So I just you can't remember an untruth, but you sure can remember the truth. So I just remember at that moment, I thought I'm never going to say anything but the truth. That doesn't mean that I'm going to be mean to somebody. Like I don't have to point out that they have crooked eyes, but I'm not going to, you know, (laughs) embellish that. thing. (laughs) Right. Like, you know, tactfully. Well, I'm not going to say, oh, you can do this. You can do this. But they know they have crooked eyes. I mean, we're people, using crooked eyes as people a, 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 know. Oh, no. Really? Oh, he did. Okay. I I'm telling. We were, well, his name wasn't Joe. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm making fine. that part up. Yeah. Like and maybe I'm not saying I'm not good. saying cross-eyed. I've had plenty of cross-eyed. Yeah. But I'm saying like their eyes were together, gotcha. and it's just really hard yes. to be in the modeling career mm-hmm. when you have that kind of an issue. Yeah, yeah. That you can't fix even with surgery. Like you can fix a nose that's on the side of your face mm-hmm. or crooked or whatever. Mm-hmm. And some of that's quirky and amazing and works. Yeah. So who am I to say, you know, what is going to work and what's not going to work? But it's also my reputation when I'm taking someone and presenting them. So I have to be pretty darn close to thinking it's going to really, really work. Right. And you've been doing it for long enough. You know what people are looking for. So you don't want to waste their time or their money. Right. I get it. 
Um, there's this kid. Um, I'm going to say his name. His name's Essie because he speaks about this openly and even on social media about the first time he came to me. And he laughs about it so much today. Like, this is 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. Evidently, I said to him, well, you're good looking, but you're not, like, amazing looking. Because <laughs> he wanted to do it. He wanted to be amazing looking. Don't we all? <laughs> and he still laughs about it to this day because he couldn't believe I said it. Well, he probably, you But know, you know what? He became an actor, and he became an amazing actor. And now he's behind the scenes as a um, videographer. Yeah. And he's great at what he does, and it launched his career by being an actor and being able to. Now, if I had said he was amazing looking, he may have tried to do the modeling thing, right? And he probably wouldn't. Yes. Yep. So I did tell him he was good looking at least, but and was he? <laughs> Is he? He's real. Actually, he grew up to be really, really handsome. <laughs> so now he probably could do modeling, but at the time, it just I didn't see him in the industry, yeah. um, and. I don't know. He was a little bit more slight. And at that time, they were more of a fitness feel mm-hmm. back when we were doing this. So there was a lot of reasons I didn't think I could get him in the industry as modeling. But he was such a good actor. Well, that's awesome. So other than Ella, who else that we would know, names that we might know? That oh, gosh. Come so being a mother agent, we have everyone on our website. We're mm-hmm. allowed to advertise everybody that we got in the industry. Mm-hmm. So like I could put... Um, Tanner Buchanan on a billboard if I wanted to. Mm-hmm. I don't do that because it's, well, first of all, it's really expensive. Mm-hmm. But um, we have them on our website. And Tanner Buchanan is one of our really fun uh, success stories. He came to me at like seven years old as a tap dancer. Mm-hmm. And I said, I can't get a seven year old tap dancer in the industry. Sorry. Like, it's just not going to happen. Like, you're going to have to take acting classes mm-hmm. or do some modeling. But he ended up not wanting to do acting, and then he did. And he was so good at it. So we took him to L.A. He still was doing tap dancing. He did a flip while tap dancing. It was really incredible. (laughs) He did a flip. (laughs) A back flip. Like, he's just standing there. Shuffle ball, change, step, step, flip. Like, it was really kind of crazy. That is cool. Mm -hmm. So we take him to L.A. He won Best Dancer. But was that a career? No. His acting was spectacular. He's done a lot of different things, but um, throughout his life, acting. And the, this was a story where the mom moved to L.A., you know, that very next pilot season, and they have been there ever since. And he is the Cobra Kai kid. Yeah. And this is a kid that was like, I'm not doing acting. I want <laughs> Seven to Seven-year-old stubborn yeah. boy. Yeah. Yeah, but he loved it. He thrived at it. He loved it. Um, another one I'm super proud of is Lizzie Broadway. And she went with me when she was like 10 years old. And just everyone thought she was adorable, and, and she's been on so many things, Shameless and Lifetime movies, I think, but I can't remember. But now she is. Have you guys watched The Boys? It's a, yes. it's amazing. Yes, yeah, she's on that. No, they spun off the series Gen V, and she's the star, one of the stars Stop. of that. Stop, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, she's amazing, hmm. amazing. Okay, like so she look is for that. such a spectacular actor. William Morris Endeavor went after her mm-hmm. immediately. J.Q. Cole, Jaquan, he, I mean, it took him three years to work up the money to be able to go. Now, Mm -hmm. when we're working with kids, like, we won't charge them for, if we're going to be putting them in the industry. We invest in them, too. Mm -hmm. But they invest. They have to spend their money to go to L.A. Mm -hmm. He went to New York with us, and it took him a while to get up his money to be able to, you know, make that trip. Mm -hmm. Um, And all the time, he was training and coming in, doing photo shoots and being in fashion shows for me. And I'm so proud of this kid because there were so many times he has said, yeah, I'm, this, I'm not going to do it. Mm-hmm. And I would just – I would drive him home from, from training. I would pick him up sometimes. I was invested in this person. And so he was on um, – he's been on so much. He did um, Wu-Tang, The American Tale. Um, he's on the Laker show Winning Team. Winning okay, Time. Yeah, winning Time. It. It's popped up. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's on that. And he makes a living acting. Like, he doesn't – that's all he does. So, yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. Those are just people that are out there that people know. Mm-hmm. There's so many people that are just riding. Like, there's a girl named Sophie Collins. Like, she works as an actress. She's not famous. She does a lot of commercial work. She does film. And she lives in L.A. now and totally make a living off doing this. And she went to IMTA with me maybe six years ago 
and has been doing it ever since. So I have so many of those stories. That's great. She's not on my website, but I feel like we should have a section for people who have done it. Yeah. Would you, would you go back 26 years? Would you do it all again? Like what, what oh, tips do you have for gosh. future entrepreneurs in your industry? Do you have any that it's like, especially with the work life balance, how'd that go with your family? Well, I worked in the evening, so it was yeah. a little bit hard because I got to get the kids from school and stuff, but then I'd have to go back sometimes. Mm -hmm. I remember being in the car with the kids and say, I'm just going to stop in for a minute. And they'd all scream, no, no, it's going to be more than a minute. <laughs> we understand that. <laughs> we understand. <laughs> Don't do it. It's never. And then, then, like, I promise you can stay right. And I pull right to the door and I'm like waving and showing them I'm just grabbing something off my desk. Heaven forbid the phone ring and I touch it. So they really learned that they hated that I have to go in there for a minute. But if it was a scheduled thing, then it was okay because your mom's working on Tuesday nights, which I had to quit because that was Friends Night, the the TV series Friends. Oh, yeah. And I had to be home to watch that with my daughter because we didn't have... VCR. Yeah, or whatever. whatever those things are called. <laughs> DVD, D or not DVD. DVR. No, DVR. DVD. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have that. So yeah. we just had to watch it when it was happening. So I always made sure I booked myself out for that. Mm -hmm. So there was things, I did stuff like that, That's making good. sure that, and then I had to work Saturdays, you know, but just in the morning. So usually they, I get home and they were just getting up. So it worked out well. How old are your kids now? So my husband and I are the same age and I had mine in my twenties. So my son was born when I was 22 and then I had him boom, 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 four of them. And then he didn't have his kids till he was in his 40s. So we have two sets of children. <laughs> we have <laughs> mine who are adults, 39, 38, 36, and 30. Sorry, Brendan. That's okay. It's either it's 30. <laughs> do it. You have 30, to think of how old you are and then count. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, his are 20 down to 18. So okay. he's three. All right. But it all works, and it's a lot of fun. Is anybody getting in the business with you? So, yeah. Um, my stepdaughter, well, my son works with me. Mm -hmm. So he's the VP of the company. He's been with me for 15 years. He runs our Florida office, okay. which is in Palm Beach. And he's here every month because he does video and photos. So he's always here. And then um, my daughter does all my accounting. She's done it since she was 16. Nice. She went to St. Ursula, and the, um, they would drop her off at my studio. And she heard me complaining, like in tears, because I, I guess I bounced the check. But it wasn't me. It was my accountant. Because <laughs> I didn't touch that stuff. So she looks at my computer and she said, Mom, I'm learning this at school. I'll do it for you. This is a 16-year-old. And she's done it ever since. And I, I've never had a mistake. Ever. That's cool. Nice. That's nice. And That's my talking about got to spread that uh, what, what word delegate delegate, delegate. got to delegate to yeah them. and my tax people love her because everything is they just it comes to them in a report and they just plop it in they're like oh my god and they give her business because she's just amazing so that's two kids in my in, that work for me or mm -hmm. with me I should say and then my stepdaughter um, she went to New York and she was kind of quiet loved singing but a l beautiful voice loved songwriting had one agent that was kind of interested in her from L.A., but she doesn't drive, so mm -hmm. that's not going to work. So she got a scholarship, a full scholarship from IMTA mm -hmm. and from going to this event. And she went to New York, and she lives in their their housing, mm -hmm. which is really inexpensive. She's got a cute little apartment. She's there now? Yeah, she's been there. She did it for two years, and then they extended it another two years. So she has a full scholarship for this school. And it's on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> so she works Monday through Thursday. And she makes enough money as a shoe person, like she stocks shoes, uh -huh. to pay for her rent and her food. Nice. In New York City. In New York City. And That's she awesome. loves it. And she's already been, um, she's produced two songs already through the school. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. That's nice. She it's loves nice it. when our kids are... They're happy and doing something they like. Well, and her personality is so different now. Like, she swore she was never going to work. And now she like, <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like the thought of it. <laughs> she's understand. like, you have to go every day. And she did, but now she just loves it. And she's yeah. going to stores and she's buying her own food. Like, it really has changed her. She's really grown. Mm -hmm. And I'm really proud of her. It's awesome. 
That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. So what is the website to find out any information? So it's sbtalent.com. Okay. Just sbtalent. But I think you can put Starbound in there. It'll probably. And Google We have a couple of them. We have starboundtalent.com too. Okay. We have both. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. it's a wonderful career Mm -hmm. to watch people come in and sometimes not even want to be in the industry. Mm -hmm. Their mom brings them in because they're so shy and they're backward. And they don't talk to people and then watch them go to this nonstop talking individual who has great eye contact. It seriously almost brings tears to your eyes. Well, you're a coach. I mean, and I love coaches. I I feel like that's, you know, it's a, that's what you're doing. You're helping them grow. It's an amazing thing to be able to be a part Mm of Mm -hmm. all these lives over 25 years. So cool. I love it. You must've started when you're like 12. (laughs) (laughs) They can't see you, but you look amazing. You do. (laughs) So, I love my age. Uh At Mm -hmm. 51, I was told that I had six months to live, and I'm now 61, so 10 years later. And I guess I outgrew, I mean, I went past the six months, so. Yes, you did. (laughs) By a whole lot. (laughs) So when people say, oh, you're not supposed to say your age, I'm, like, so proud that I'm still here. Mm -hmm. Like, I do not have any problems. Mm -hmm. Plus, I've gathered all this knowledge Mm -hmm. throughout these years. Like, come on, I need to be able to say how old I am. Absolutely. Don't you wish we We all say how old we are. We do. I wish we could uh, have our bodies and brains, our bodies as we had in our 20s and our brains now. That'd be great, but that's never going to happen. You know, Margaret (laughs) O'Brien gave me some really great advice when I first bought her business. She said, if you're going to lie about your age, which I wasn't back then, I was like, however Mm -hmm. old I was, lie older. She goes, because these people that she's around say they're so much younger. And you're looking at them thinking, Hmm. yeah, you look pretty rough. (laughs) So we're going with, I'm 70. (laughs) (laughs) Don't I look great? I love it. No, but it's true. Like, Uh right? Just say your age and be proud and wear it. Yeah. As a badge of honor. I love it. Aren't you going to ask me, like, why? We're kind of out of time, but what would you like me to ask you? Why I'm cool. Oh, my. Oh. Atlanta, we forgot. <laughs> so, right. Wendy, I have a question for you. Yeah? Why, Why are, are you, you cool? so cool? So, there's a lot of reasons, I think. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need a half hour. But I, I, and I, I've thought about these reasons. I'm going, oh, my God, I should say this, I should say that. But I am by far the best arm wrestler. <laughs> Nobody can beat me in arm wrestling. I'm not even kidding. I beat my 18-year-old stepson in arm wrestling. It's because we have upper body mom strength, but yours might be extra powerful. And I don't even work out. Nobody can beat me arm wrestling, unless it's a big dude. But if it's a woman or an 18-year-old boy, I'm crushing them in arm wrestling. Wow. That is cool. I'm going to start saying (laughs) that. that. Like I'm friends with Wendy Hendricks because she can beat anybody at arm wrestling i love it no like i have a 20 a sister that's 20 years younger than me mm-hmm. and she works out and i'm like boom like she cannot she's like how do you do that it's a gift it's a gift <laughs> <laughs> on that note <laughs> you're coming back <laughs> thank, thank you, you so much for back. coming yes thanks for coming yeah, and hanging out fun. with us and yeah you guys are great well, you, you rock I you rock you. We have cool friends. Thank you for joining us today on Hot Topics Cool Friends. I'm Lori. And I'm Wendy. We would like to give a special thanks to Chris Pfeiffer, our executive producer, and Gary Wagner, who wrote and produced our music. If you guys have any questions or comments and you want to listen to more of these wonderful episodes, head on over to WGTE.org backslash cool friends or anywhere you stream your podcast. And remember to thank your local business owner and go out and hear a local musician. WGTE. Voices around us. WGTE is supported in part by the American Rescue Plan Act funds allocated by the City of Toledo and the Lucas County Commissioners and administered by the Arts Commission.